Hey guys, welcome to the 13th video of my series on regex in Python and in this video we're going to talk about a concept called back referencing. So in the last video we understood the concept of group capturing in which we can just uh, um, put some part of our regex pattern inside parentheses and that becomes a group and we can actually capture the content inside that group that we get as a result. So now what if I want to um, refer to that particular group again somewhere in my pattern. So for that I can use the concept of back referencing. So back referencing actually allows you to specify that the contents of an earlier caption group must also be found at the current location. Okay. So for example if you put slash one somewhere in your pattern then it means that you want to match exact contents of the group one at this position right now. Okay. So let us take an example of um, let's take an example of a scenario where we want to find all the duplicated words in the given text. For example, in this text you have hello which is being duplicated. Similarly, you have bye which is being duplicated. So what if I want to find such kind of words? So what can I do? So the first thing that I can do is that I can um, I can first of all create a group slash w plus for all the words. Now whenever I match a word and that is actually a group then after a space I would like to check if um, it has the same content so for that I refer back to it by its group number so now in the last video you must remember that um, in Python the groups that we get as a result of matching are indexed as 0 0 refers to the complete regex pattern you can think of it like a big um, parenthesis covering the entire expression so that is the group 0 then you have group 1. So right now this parenthesis block is the group 1. If you make another block that will be the group 2 and so on. So right now I am referring to the group 1. Now there is one problem with what I have written here right now. The problem here is that if you just try to print this particular pattern you will see that you are not getting slash 1 here. So basically slash 1 is not getting passed to the regex engine and it is happening because of the python interpreter. The Python interpreter will interpret slash one as an escape sequence and will treat it differently. So what I need to do is I need to put a slash again. I can either do that or I can put R here. So if I write R, so look at that, it will be treated like a raw string and it will work perfectly. So the best method to deal with here, deal with it is to just put make it a make it a raw string. So this is my pattern. So pattern dot find all and text. So look at that, we get all the words which are getting duplicated, hello and bye. So this is quite easy but a very powerful thing that we have done here. We have checked that, we have checked all the words which are getting duplicated consecutively by using a very simple expression. So this is the power of the regular expressions. So yeah, so this is it. Now let us move on to another example which will clear our understanding a bit more. So. This is a quite an extensive example in which first of all I need to find all the dates with this pattern dd, mm and yyyy which means 4 times y okay and then I have to change them I have to change them to this format so this is a very nice problem uh, in which I have to first of all find a pattern and then change the pattern by using substitution so let us see how we can go about doing this. So the first thing that I can do is I can specify my pattern re.compile so the pattern here is like um, there is slash d two times and let me put that in a group first of all similarly I have slash d2 again and then somewhere I have slash d4 and now in between I have these forward slashes so in order to make a forward slash you will have to escape it as well so I write a forward slash and then I escape it as well like this similarly I write a forward slash and I escape it with a backslash and now let me remove those white spaces as they actually mean white space which I do not want here so this is my pattern okay so now um, pattern is this and now let me do pattern dot match or a better pattern dot find all text so look at that we are able to find all the dates in our text right so we are able to get all the parts from each match that we get 
So we are actually getting three matches in this text. This is a match one. This is a match two. This is a match three. Now in, in now in each match there are three groups. Group one, group two, group three. So for group one it is twenty three. Group two value is two. Group three value is two thousand nineteen. Similarly for the second match these are the group values. Okay. So now we are able to get find the result. Now we need to substitute it. So how do we do that? So in order to do that all you have to do is pattern dot sub. in which you have to provide the substitution string so it is quite easy you can again refer it in your replacement string like this slash 3 dash slash 2 dash slash 1 that's it and your text so now what is happening here is that you are simply specifying in your replacement string that you want to have the contents of group 3 here contents of group 2 here and the contents of group 1 here so this is how you do it so and also let me make it a raw string so that's it and if i just want to print it the result so let me print the result so that we can see it better look at that so today is 23 to 2019 got converted to today is 2019 to 23 so in this way we have changed the format of dates in our text so this is a very nice example quite a powerful example which we are able to do in just two lines so this is the um, this is amazing right so in this way you can use back referencing for doing some uh, really powerful tasks So yeah, so I hope the concept of back referencing is clear. It's quite easy to do, but it is quite powerful. If you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.